Hey everyone, John Doyle from Optics EQ. Today I'm going to take a little different uh, tack on our video. We're going to focus on Optics Notes. So if you have Optics Notes and or enjoy using Optics Notes or have never used Optics Notes before, I think this is going to be very informative how to get the most out of it. Uh, so what we're going to do is this is the after you sign in, you get the select button in blue here. So I'm just going to click that up to the right. Okay. And then what happens is you get a whatever you buy in your uh, subscription comes up, the dates and everything. Uh, if you buy notes, you're going to get a utility called Rod, and it's really useful. Okay, so we're going to spend time. And really what I'm going to show you is how to make your own kind of green report. You, know, you see that we put those things out there now and then. And really, the, the reason we do it again is to show people how to use our stuff. You know, that's really what it's all about. So, you know, yeah, okay, we'll pick a winner here, a long shot, and that's, you know, whatever, and you, you could do, do well that way, but it's not a picks thing. We're trying to show you actually how to use it. That's why we give the descriptions of the horses and stuff when we do it. So I'm going to go into the rod for today. This is June 16th. And what it, it loads is it loads every horse uh, from every race that we cover. So all the tracks and stuff. So, um, so you got a list here and you look at the display rows, it's 986 rows. Um, by the way, uh, for now, I, I recommend you don't try to use this on your phone or on a, even, I guess maybe iPad's okay, but really kind of would focus on a desktop uh, to get the maximum use. Or at least if you're going to use it on the iPad, make sure you have a very good uh, network connection, a very uh, fast network connection that, that'd be the best. Okay, so some of the things, I'm going to show you some of the techniques I use to at least get myself started uh, to making the, the green report. And, um, you know, these are good techniques, you know, it depends on what you're doing. Do you play one track, multiple tracks? Right now we have all the tracks set up. So I'm looking for things that are unique to optics that may give us an edge. And one of the things that we've talked about a long time is green keywords. So if you go up to optics notes, and this is, again, you only get uh, the rod when you have uh, notes, okay? So what I want to look sometimes is the green keyword in last race. So that's like horses that had either trouble or, you know, we're projecting to improve with a surface switch or whatever. Uh, so I'm looking for horses like that. So anyway, the green keyword gives me a list. It's a subset of 13. Uh, one of the things I like to do is, you know, I don't want to focus on short price horses. I mean, yeah, they're green keywords and all the rest. I mean, it's important if I'm making a multi-race bet, I have to look at this, but not for these purposes, right? I'm trying to find horses a little bit out of the ordinary. So one of the things I want to do is you see this morning line. I'm, let me just blow this up so I can show you. Maybe it's easier to read. Oh, that's not really blowing it up. Uh, yeah, that's blowing it up. Okay, you see this uh, morning line. What I'm trying to do is get, it's, you see it's a greater than sign, five to one. I'm looking for horses greater than five to one. And if you want to know all the uh, operators, if you click fil filter operator help shows you all the things you can do greater than equal equal to right just shows you all the rest and all i'm going to do up here is going to say greater than five and so i'm i'm, I'm kind of taking the horses out below five the one that i really care less about right because we're, we're looking for an edge and uh, so now my subset goes way down to five horses and then what i do is i just go just race by race horse by horse and just evaluate um so some of them, you know, automatically, I know I'm not going to look at. So for instance, in the Gulfstream race seven, Fort Altitude, we're, at, we're calling for turf. That was the key word there. Well, the race is on the dirt, okay? Uh, same thing with uh, uh, the Prairie Meadows race seven, the number eight. So these are, I'm, I'm not going to look at, but there's three others here that I would look at. And, and what I would do is just kind of, you just click the optics plot. And what this brings up is the plot for that race. Okay, so in this case, uh, Bonadu, uh, this is a horse running in a you know, maiden special weight. Got a lot of first time stars you have to evaluate. They seem kind of long, just I mean, I guess Mott has a horse, so that, that's the one you probably have to pay attention to. But of the horses that have run, the, the best speed figure and the best horse is the number 10, Echo in Eternity. Uh, the slow alligate uh, and caught a weather track. So, and, and this horse was bet some. I don't know if this horse is good, but it was eight to one. Uh, so you're going to get seven to two today. Um, does this horse move up? Hard to tell, right? Hard to tell. But there's one horse we think will move up, and this is Bonegu. Let's let's go to the grid on this horse. Okay, 
this horse you know, could be a little bit under radar. It's 12 to one. Um, so this horse debut, uh, catches weather, gets out of the gate slow, rushes. Uh, look, how, look how heavily this horse was betting at a race, five to one, okay? And you, you could just, I just, let me just, for whatever purposes, <laughs> contrast this. Let me get to the, what was the horse that we talked about being 10, okay? The 10, which is also a Gagan, a, a Gargan horse, uh, was eight to one in the debut, whatever, whatever that's worth. But at least he's got two horses in here and this is one of them. Let me go back to the two. Okay, so the next race, this horse gets uh, not major kickback, but kickback and still runs well and improves dramatically figure-wise going seven furlongs. So that's a good race. Then this horse, we don't hear from this horse for 78 days, catches another bad track, another weather-related track. But if you read the extended comment, the rider stopped riding in the stretch. And I don't know if it was like the trainer told him to. I mean, really, he just stopped. Um, or the horse wasn't just handling the track. So this, this horse now gets, I, I think the weather gets dry track maybe for the first time. I, a little little uh, suspect is this vet str scratch in between. So you got to evaluate the, and gets a new rider. Davis is the rider, Katie Davis, uh, who's a good rider, good uh, long shot rider too. It's just, look, I mean, there's some things not to like about this horse, but 12 to one, 15 to one, you know, I, like I said, so trying to identify a horse that's going to be kind of outside the uh, the boundaries a little bit. Um, the, the other horse was this uh, family fact. This horse is 10 to 1. And this is at Ellis Park. Kind of similar situation. You got, a, you know, horses that are first-time starters. And, and then all the horses that run, I mean, this horse fits on figure. The only horse that has a better uh, optics figure, 72, is the six. Um, but you know, there's a, you know, first time starter was the award is probably you got to pay attention to, but I mean, this horse again is, is 10 to one come off a left. Let's go to the grid on this horse. And again, what's great about optics, the rod and the notes the plot, they're all connected. Um, so you don't have to go out and get into anything. It's, it's just seamless. Okay. So, you know, let's look at the extended comment of this horse. But Chad had a strange pull on the reins, opening 16th, when scared of the shoot, ended up giving up a ton of ground. This is kind of subtle trouble that I like. So, you know, you won't see this on a lot of other, um, you know, people that maybe do uh, like this, the standard notes of the truck call. It's kind of subtle, I think. I kind of like it. And again, this horse doesn't have to, I mean, normal second time improvement with a stretch out. Now, you know, you got to worry about the two being some kind of horse for Ward. But still, um, the thing I don't like about the first time stars in a race like this is they're putting them in for a claiming tag right off the bat. And that doesn't show a lot of confidence. So I think this horse is kind of uh, gets the rider upgrade too. So I, I, I'd be surprised if this horse is 10 to 1, uh, but, but, but still maybe value uh, in, in a race that's kind of weak. Okay. So again, you get the idea of, of, how to kind of do this. Um, and, you know, you can go through your own handicapping. What we're trying to do is just identify horses that um, might be useful. Uh, here's another one that may fly a little bit under the radar, race 10 um, at Santa Anita. This race is on the turf. And you can see it's almost like uh, Notes is begging <laughs> this uh, connections to get this horse on turf. Last two races, turf, turf. So uh, the, this horse looks, you know, it's, it, when you kind of compare, you do a summary here up on the V bars, and you kind of look at this horse comparatively, pace, speed, and class, uh, you know, this horse fits, right? I mean, a little bit below in class, but way above on pace, kind of equivalent speed. So getting to a new surface, we think this horse is going to prove more is a positive, okay? And again, six to one, it's, it's you know, take a look at that race. I'm not going to dig into that race. I'm just, again, trying to show you techniques of how to get to some things more quickly. Uh, let me clear the filters now and get back to the original. Show you another technique that I, I kind of like to use. Um, take a look at the shapes. So what I want to do, this is standard plot. I want squares only on the standard plot. And when I click this, what happens is you can see it puts a square in the spot that it needs to put it in. So you don't even have to worry about it. Um, and then I want on the surface distance, oops, I'll go back to shapes. On surface distance, I want squares only two. And only 
let me make sure I click that. Okay, so you see it puts the square in both. So now I have horses that only are squares. Now I want to look at odds. I want to look at horses that are long shots. I'm, I want to look 10 to 1 or above. So now I get 42 entries, okay? Um, the other thing you can do um, is select a track. So I'm going to, for, for, for this purpose, I'm going to select San Anita. I just I want to look at San Anita for whatever reasons. I mean, again, this just shows you all the things you can do in terms of uh, filterability. So I, so I got a subset, and, and I just kind of go down this list too, right? And I just kind of look at horses. Um, one in particular, let me just look at this race eight, number seven. Uh, this is a horse that looks like it's getting a fairly uh, fast pace, uh, not contentious, but fast. Looks like the six is the speed of the speed. Uh, but this is a horse, let's look at the summary. It kind of fit, you know, like there's no like jarring things from a pace, speed, class perspective, kind of fits. It's had kind of tactics minus the last couple of races. Let's go to the grid on this horse. A little bit interesting in the terms that I like to kind of go, especially these younger horses, go from the bottom up. And she started a race, started a career, tactics minus. Let's look at the extended comment, always important. Open land, perfect chalk winner, top two, finish, clear the rest of the field. I, I guess the tactics was that they, they, they didn't get this horse into the race earlier, made a wide move, ran well, winning second time out, uh, made in special weight, uh, cut this horse back to six and a half furlongs. Uh, don't know why that was. Um, then caught dirt, probably not the intended surface. Got another tactics going eight furlongs, but improved. Notice improved the figure wise. Uh, on hold, pace, uh, race slowing, late blanket around the wire. So again, probably held this horse up, and that was probably not the way to go. So it comes back and runs a pretty good race and uh, an improved figure off a layoff. So I'm just thinking second off a layoff. You know, this horse has, um, you know, upside. And if you go back to the 77, I like the fact that this horse is routing because that's what he wants to do. So if you just look at this horse route races on turf, it was 77, 77, 79. This, especially the 77 as a two-year-old, there, there might be more upside on this horse. So pay attention. And you got to like the drop. This is a major, it looks like a major drop from, you know, well, I don't know if it's major, okay? But it looks like a drop uh, in, in kind of a light level. Uh, again, no knocks other, other than that pace from a pace quadrant percentage, just stuff like that, you know, oops, seems to be okay. Um, yeah, no, no, no glaring issues. So the seven, uh, the other thing you can do with this and some of the things that you can do is uh, also look at form cycle. So if you want to look at uh, second off the layoff, like I like just mentioned, because that's a good thing. Usually horses can prove second out. You can do that. I'm just going to clear that and just get rid of it. But you can you see you see it puts the two LO in there. So second off a layoff. Um, so I can go keep going down this list. But you, I think you get the idea is, is you can try to find horses, you know, initially as a starting point that might be outside normal handicapping techniques used, right? So you're looking at things like what's really important to optics, horses with good plots, horses with green keywords, uh, you could do the same thing, too, if you wanted to look at bad favorites. Uh, I'll just give you, I'm not going to go into any of these, but I'll just give you kind of an idea. So let's look at odds. I want to look at anything that's really short priced, less than or equal to two to one. And then on alerts, uh, form cycle, I want to look at, uh, well, on notes, I want to look at horses with red keywords in the last race. Okay. So, you know, maybe red keywords in the last three races get a bigger. Oh, no. Okay. Again, trouble on what I did there. Uh, keywords the last three races okay so this is another way of maybe trying to find a bad favorite uh same thing you know you might want to let's clear this out and go back here and say odds oh, less than or equal two to one and then what you want to do maybe shape wise you want to look at horses that are uh circles only uh like maybe just circles in one of them uh or circles in both standard and surface and distance I knew that was going to kind of shorten the list, right? Uh, oh, this is a big square. Let me just take this out. Okay, so the, yeah, okay. So this is circles for both uh, surface and distance, standard and surface and distance. Horses less than or equal two to one. This is maybe a starting point where you want to maybe take a shot against somebody in here, okay? So you get the idea. 
Uh, Rod is a great utility. It only comes with notes uh, and uh, you can really have some fun with handicapping and really take a different approach than normal handicap, which is which is part of the game. You may, you may, you're taking a different approach with information that's really solid and useful and proven. So uh, that's it for me. Uh, if you want to check out more about this, go to uh, opticseq.com. Uh, the other thing I would recommend when you're looking, if you want to see a little bit more about the information in uh, Rod, go to Info, click Rod, and then you can get our quick reference guide. And just click that. And this, you know, because people ask me, what does it feel? Well, it's all described here. Really, I, I encourage, we have a great information section. Uh, if you have any questions, go here first. You know, we'd love to help you, but go here first. It's, it's kind of laid out very nicely, very you know, explanatory. It shows you all the filters that you can use, the, st the standard filters, and then talks a little bit about how to make custom filters too, okay? So that's great. All right, everyone, thanks for listening and uh, good luck at the races.